Most of the time, glucose levels in the ISF in the whole blood are similar. However, when the glucose is changing rapidly, such as after meals, after insulin, or after exercise, the glucose level in the whole blood is not the same as glucose in the ISF. This difference in the rate of change is known as the lag. A train is a good way to illustrate this concept of lag. Think of blood glucose and ISF glucose as the cars of a train. In the front car of the train is blood glucose, or BG. In the back of the train is the ISF, or sensor glucose, SG. Imagine that the hills and bumps on the track are like the changes in your glucose levels throughout a typical day. In the front car of the train is blood glucose, or BG. As carbohydrate is digested, glucose enters the bloodstream first before it is absorbed into the interstitial fluid. So blood glucose is in the front of the train. In the back of the train is the sensor glucose, or SG car. Since glucose travels from the blood into the interstitial fluid, sensor glucose follows behind blood glucose. When the train is traveling along a flat plane, when there is little fluctuation in glucose levels, the blood glucose and sensor glucose readings will be very similar, although rarely exactly the same. Now think of going uphill on the train as a rise or upward trend in glucose levels. As the train starts up the hill, you can see that the blood glucose in the front car is leading the sensor glucose in the back car, because changes in glucose appear first in blood glucose. Now as the train heads down the hill, or glucose is decreasing or trending down, once again, the blood glucose leads in the front car. So, as you can see, whether glucose levels are trending up or trending down, blood glucose leads sensor glucose. There will be a bigger difference in blood glucose and sensor glucose readings on the bigger hills, or when glucose is changing more rapidly. After food, after insulin, and after exercise. There are a couple of important things to keep in mind. When glucose levels are generally stable, expect to see small differences in blood glucose and sensor glucose. However, when the glucose level is changing rapidly, expect to see bigger differences between the blood glucose and sensor glucose readings. It's important to note that with CGM, the focus is not only on the glucose reading at any single point in time, but also on the trend.